Right, you have any How would you evaluate your place so far? Um, well, first of all, I would say uh, I'm guy for for the win that we had today. But I feel like I, I, I played solidly. Um, did, did the little things. Made try to glue, be a glue for the team on the defensive end, be an anchor out there. Um, I felt like I did a, bit, a pretty good job out there and, and that and that and that position. Um, obviously, I, want, I feel like I can do more offensively, but it's just not my role just yet. So, like, I gotta stick with it. So, I feel I feel I feel excited for what's coming, and the more I and and I'm excited for to see how more confident I can get with more games and more playing time. Yeah, okay. uh, Nimi and the Mias, whatever, you guys. Yeah. So. Uh, when you go back and look at your games here in summer, what's kind of the first thing that stands out that you want to look at every single night? Like what's different between here and college? No, not necessarily that, but like when you're evaluating your own game in this summer league environment, what kind of the thing that you want to see stand out on the table? For me, um, consistency, most, most, most and foremost. Like I feel like I got to be consistent um, being – being the anchor of the, of the defense is really you got to really be there all the time and make sure you're you're covering a lot of a lot of mistakes that that our guards make on the perimeter. So I feel like I want to be consistent first and foremost, and then and then yeah, be be a be be a cleaner. Make sure you clean rebounds. Make sure you clean blocks. Make sure you clean the the boards and all that. Like make sure you. That's all the things I want to make sure I do. And then after that, whatever comes is it's just an added benefit. Pretty satisfying. Yeah, yeah, most definitely. Most, I feel like I'm running a lot better. Um, I feel like I'm just, I'm, I'm getting in better shape too. Um, I'm setting, I'm setting better screens with better, with more, with more practice on it. I feel like I'm just, I'm just, I'm just getting better at pretty much everything I'm doing on the court. It's just a matter of time until I get it, until I get a pretty good feel on it and know what, what my guys want, what my guards want for me to do, and then, and then just take it from there. Nimi, defense is a lot of work, but um, you guys seem to be having fun with it and, and developing that as a little bit of like identity of this group. How, how much fun is it, and then where is that sort of coming from? Um, first and foremost, it starts with Davion. He's, he's, he's out there in the perimeter pretty much the whole time, and whenever he, whenever he sets the tone on the first six, seven, eight seconds of the possession, um, with his guy, that, that just, just that just translates to us. I feel like we just we just take that energy, and after that, it's just it's just keeping keeping it up and just trying to just trying to feed off each other's energy. And what, and as I said it before, Davion starts it, and we pretty much just take advantage of it. How much can that like um, breed or um, foster like togetherness within a group? Yeah, it can bring a lot of it. Um, I feel like it's it's defense can. Makes it makes teams great. Um, I feel like defense is the most important part of the game for me. And then, and if you if you're really good defensively, you're gonna you're gonna always find ways to score. So I feel like it's as long as we're good defensively, we should be good at the end of the game. Um, I feel like it's just natural. Um, I've been I've been doing that for a, a quite a lot. Um, uh, pretty much in every team I've been a part of, I've been I've been one of the most vocal guys. And this and it, and as I said it before, as a defensive anchor, I gotta I gotta make sure I'm at the right spot. I gotta make sure I I tell people where to be whenever I feel whenever I see something. I gotta I gotta I gotta have I gotta see the floor most mo, most for most part. And, and that's I feel like I just I just it's just something I've been doing my whole career and I've just been translating it to here. Yeah, Nimi, uh, Bobby's you know a real direct, real blunt type guy when it comes to communication. What's it been like to get to know him and the messages that he's getting, trying to get across to you in terms of getting making you a better player? Bobby's a really good coach. Um, for the few days for the few days I've been with him, I can tell I can tell he's got a really good IQ and then. And then he knows how to he knows how to pull his players, and I feel like we we just been taking advantage of it. He challenges us in a good way, and I feel like we know how to respond to that. And and that's pretty much the the most important thing we need to do. 
and after that, whenever we whenever we listen to him, I feel like we're we're really we're really really hard to stop, and we're whenever we're on the same page, we're we're really one of one of the top teams in this league. You've had some big moments in this city. What's it like being back here? Any fond memories coming back? I mean, yeah, yeah. Uh, those were good times out here. Um, winning a lot of championships out here. A lot of a lot of good moments in this in this gym, especially. Um, but I feel it's, it's past already. I don't I don't like to remember that whenever I'm on the court. Um, it's a new game, you know. I just got to think of what's next.